Today we're going to talk about the machine chest supported row with a band. And yes, I know that's a mouthful, but it's quickly become one of my favorite back exercises. And today we're going to talk about muscles targeted, how to set up for the exercise, how to perform the exercise, and make sure you stick around to the end where we're going to talk about some common mistakes and how to fix them. What's up guys, Ryan here at TradeawayTraining.com where we help busy professionals get more results in less time through online training. Before we get started, if you want more physique transforming training and nutrition information, consider subscribing. When thinking about the traps, the upper traps get all the love because they're what you can actually see when you look at yourself in the mirror. People often don't realize or forget that there's actually three sections to the trap muscle. You have the upper traps, which is what you can see in the mirror, and then you have the middle traps and the lower traps. Because of this, the middle and lower traps are often underdeveloped. Two of the major functions of the middle and lower fibers of the trap is to externally rotate and retract the scapula, which are your shoulder blades. The rhomboids, which lie beneath the traps, also share the function of retracting the scapula. I mention this because bigger rhomboids will push out against the traps making your traps look bigger. And as an added benefit, it will also improve your posture. That's where the chest supported row comes in. The chest support serves three purposes. It allows you to focus on the protraction and retraction of the scapula. It takes strain off the lower back because you don't have to hold yourself upright like with bent over rows and it makes it harder to cheat by using momentum as you perform the rowing motion. To set up for the exercise, loop a band around one side of the handles under the machine and around the other side of the handles. We'll come back to the purpose of the band here in a moment. Adjust the foot platform so that the handles are at or just below chest height if possible on your machine. Step onto the foot platform and lean forward onto the chest support. For this exercise, we'll be using a neutral grip, meaning the palms will be facing each other. Take the bar off the support. Typically when performing a row, you would keep your scapula retracted throughout the rep. However, with this exercise, allow the shoulders to slump forward a bit at the bottom of the rep so that the shoulder blades are completely protracted or spread apart. This is the starting position. Pull the weight up and back while at the same time retracting or pinching together the scapula. At the top of the rep, your scapula should be pinched together and your arms back as far as they can go. As you pull the weight up, the band will get tighter, providing extra resistance, which will make squeezing the scapula together more difficult. Hold the scapula together for a brief pause and slowly lower the weight back to the bottom, again allowing the shoulder blades to come apart and the shoulders to slump forward. You'll do this for every rep. Now let's talk about a couple of mistakes that I commonly see that you'll want to avoid. The first mistake that I see is allowing the chest to come off of the chest support and using momentum to complete the rep. Your chest will inevitably come off of the chest support a little bit when you're pinching those shoulder blades together. However, you can mitigate this by selecting an appropriate weight that's not too heavy and slowing the reps down just a bit. Another mistake that I commonly see is not bringing the weight all the way up and cutting the range of motion short. Again, make sure you select an appropriate weight and focus on pulling the arms all the way back and retracting your scapula at the top. If you can't do this, then lower the weight. Question of the day, what's your favorite trap exercise? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing, or you can check us out on the Treadway Training Blogcast. We're there every Sunday at 3 p.m. That's treadawaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you tomorrow.